I purchased a new pair of shoes. Welcome back to Life In My Shoes Reviews and Such. As the intro indicated, I'm going to be doing a shoe review. I'm going to be doing a review of the Merrill Alpine sneaker. So per the norm, I will give you a highlight of the purchase, basically what, uh, where I got it, how much I, I paid for it, and a, a typical retail price. I'll tell you about the product itself. Often that is a highlight from the retailer's site. Um, and then I will tell you about my thoughts since I've purchased them and I've been wearing them. These are my thoughts and opinions. And finally, I'll kind of give you a final assessment of the shoe. So uh, with that, let's launch into the purchase. So first off, the purchase. Uh, as a caveat, this is not a sponsored video. I did purchase these shoes with my own money um, without a discount from a retailer or uh, provision from a retailer for a positive review. I simply purchased these and thought I would do a review of these shoes for you. To highlight the product again, this is the Merrill Alpine sneaker. So let me give you the highlight of a quick overview of the product, then uh, the purchase details, and then I'll launch into high detail on the product. So this is the Merrill Alpine sneaker. This is in the color of navy. <coughs> I am a true to size 11, but purchased these in a 12 after having tried on the other sizes. I'll talk more about that later. And then finally, my purchase price for these was at the DSW retailer of $57 and some change. They were on sale in the discount section. So they were what appeared to be um, getting rid of the stock of this shoe. And so they were the only pair in this size um, and was a good neutral color. It was the last pair in my size. So it appeared as if this shoe was no longer be, going to be carried at DSW. I will say uh, as kind of a, an additional caveat that DSW was the retailer where I first saw the shoe that drew, drew my attention. And when I talk about uh, later in the video, I'll talk about kind of my thoughts on the product. I'll share with you the, the color of the shoe that initially drew my attention. So now let's launch into the facts about the product. Now about the product. So first off, Merrill's was established in uh, 1981. So it is a bit of a well-established uh, brand when it comes to shoes. They do target kind of that outdoor, uh, often hiking, outdoorsy type shoes. Um, the function as Merrill describes for the uh, Alpine sneaker is <clears throat> uh, let the retro vibe take over in sneakers you simply can't take off. In colors that mix well with your style, Alpine sneaker will earn its place in the top of your shoe rack. So there you go, that's kind of their 50 foot view. Um, now let's talk about the materials. <clears throat> so it is a leather with nylon. So a lot of, uh, you see a lot of the leather uh, accent with this in between material being nylon. Um, they say it has a breathable mesh liner. You can't really see that much. They seem to breathe all right, but I would still feel they're uh, probably a cooler weather shoe. Uh, it says kinetic fit base, uh, removable contoured insole with uh, for flexible support. So your removable in uh, insole um, for uh, flexible support. It says a lightweight EVA midsole for stability and comfort. This is the midsole in here, the white and even like the bluish and the dark blue. Um, blue. Um, those are the midsole. It has a rubber outsole for traction and durability. So you kind of see that, you see from the side what that outsole looks like. Not a super aggressive outsole. I wouldn't say this is like, if I had to go hiking and, uh, and I would pick this as a hiking shoe, but it is something that like, if I was wearing it casually, I feel like I could transition onto a trail. Um, 
but it's not like a trail shoe I would pick for trail. Some additional info, obviously it has a uh, traditional lace system. Um, the nice added bonus is it has three loops that kind of hold the tongue and it kind of holds the tongue in place uh, with the lacing. <coughs> it is a weight of about one pound, 11 ounces. Uh, it's available in 12 color combos and here are the 12 color combos that it's available in. And finally, it retails on Merrill's site for $95. Select colors are on sale in the $62 range. That does not include the blue. So there you go, that's Merrill's uh, overview of this product. So my thoughts on the Merrill Alpine sneaker. So kind of taking some of the information from the purchase and from the details of the product and from my wear to be able to tell you what I think of the product. So first off, let's talk about fit. If you notice, I mentioned uh, early on in the video that I am a true size 11, um, but I sized up in this shoe to a size 12 after having tried them on. Um, they fit snug across the forefoot. Um, <coughs> and because of that, the additional length going up a full size gives a little more mobility in the toes. Uh, this is another, um, if you remember, I'll try to put a link up to the top of uh, the Saucony uh, Low Pro Jazz that I purchased. Uh, they are a similarly styled, kind of this retro look, similar to uh, the Nike uh, Daybreak, I think it is, and kind of the Nike Cortez, uh, kind of this narrow toe, a little retro-esque. Um, those shoes also fit very narrow in the forefoot. Um, and I originally purchased an 11, way too small, purchased an 11 and a half. Still, I would say I needed to go to a 12 in those, so a full size in those to accommodate the narrow toe. So now let's talk about the style and look. Um, while I talk about this, I'm gonna show uh, a video uh, or two over here of the shoe styled with uh, my public rec uh, workday pants, which is more of a casual, and then with a pair of jeans, just so you can kind of see that they they can transition either of those two ways. <clears throat> so from a fit, I feel like they're retro and rugged. So they got that retro profile, but they're kind of going for that rugged fill, and obviously that comes with Merrill's brand. Uh, the blue, I believe, is is a good, deep, rich blue. It almost borders on gray. So even in uh, the thumbnail, you'll notice those shoes look almost gray in the thumbnail. Uh, it's The blue comes out more when it's put against a different color. Uh, so you see more of that blue, but it almost does come out gray. It's a good neutral. We'll go with most anything. Um, and as I mentioned, they work really well with khakis or with jeans. So for example, um, I've worn these to church two weeks uh, because uh, I per after purchasing them, I've had a couple weeks of church with them, and I just wore them to church, and I fit right in with the crowd. They didn't look odd or as if I was underdressed or anything. They actually uh, styled very well in a casual dress environment. So uh, what are my likes on these shoes? <coughs> so one, I, I do like the neutral color that this will go with everything. I like that uh, that blue was the only thing available. Would have loved the black um, would have really loved the multicolor, and I'll show you the picture of the multicolor here. This was the color that I first noticed in DSW that drew my attention. I really wanted the multicolor. Um, that's okay, I didn't get them. I wasn't willing to spend the kind of money that the multicolor are going for. Um, even on Merrill's site, I think they have the multicolor. They're going for 95, but I don't even think they have a size 12 on the website. So. Even then, I, I'm just not willing to pay that price. I like uh, I like the comfort. They're, they are a comfortable shoe, so they do have a nice ride. Um, the footbed is nice. All this uh, midsole is nice. The rubber has some durability. The insole has some cush to it, so it's a, it's a nice ride. Um, what are my dislikes about the shoe? <coughs> the forefoot. Absolutely, this is tight. And even my first, I would say my first weekish of wearing these, um, I felt a lot of this in the toe because I'm used to shoes that give me a lot more room 
um, that are a lot more forgiving. A lot of my running shoes have um, the material allows for stretch, and then all of my ultras are designed to have more uh, toe room in um, in the forefoot here. I would have preferred the multicolored model, but for the price I pay, I was happy making this compromise. I'm happy with the shoe and happy with the color choice I was able to get. Um, overall, <coughs> I like the look and the style of the shoe. They go with about everything. So again, khakis and jeans, um, it is a dark blue, so they'll go with dark jeans, they'll go with light jeans, they'll go with stonewash, they'll go with tan khakis, they'll go blues, um, they'll go with um, the olives. They'll kind of go with everything from this color combination. From a style perspective, they can slightly dress up into uh, slight business casual, I'd say more casual, and dress down all the way into the jeans type of environment with a sweatshirt. Um, but they kind of have a little bit of versatility. You're going to push it if you start getting into a dress slack, but in a, a khaki, they're, they're still doable. I also like that it was a brilliant move to size up a full size. Again, I had the advantage of trying these on in a store. They did have a size of 11 halves in a different color. Uh, and so I was able to first try the 12s, then try the 11 and halves and quickly realized that the 12s were uh, a good solid sizing decision for me. Um, and even I slept on the, the purchase decision probably a solid week before I went back uh, to get the shoe. So um, really wise decision. I would have loved to have gotten them closer to the $45 range. Again, I'm a bit of a penny pincher when it comes to that. And um, when doing reviews, obviously I'm purchasing all this stuff. So I'm looking for good deals on, uh, on products that I want to purchase uh, that I can then review. So ideally I would have loved about the $45 mark and I paid 57. So a little more than I would have liked to have paid as I also mentioned early on, it appeared that DSW might be discontinuing carrying the uh, Alpine sneaker. I don't know if that is a decision that, that goes all the way up to Merrill, or if that is DSW, and even if it is DSW, if it is blanket DSW, or that DSW location I went to. So I'm not quite certain what it is. I did notice that they did not have any more of them on the main floor and that the only ones I saw were in the discount section, which is in the back of the store. Merrill does have certain colors uh, that are discounted at the 62-ish dollar mark on their website. Um, it's usually colors that are slightly off the beaten path. So overall, very happy with the purchase. Love the shoe, uh, love um, the look of the shoe, how it styles. Again, I'm getting used to the toe box. It is still a little tight, but I, maybe I'm, it's either stretching out or I'm getting used to it. A lot more comfortable in the more recent wearings of them versus the early wearings of them. I've had them about three weeks, uh, have worn them quite a bit over the course of the three weeks. Uh, so very happy with the shoe, happy with the purchase. Again, wish I had gotten it around the $45 mark. So there you go, that is the Merrill. Alpine sneaker. Let me know your thoughts in the uh, comments below. Have you tried any Merrill? Go on Merrill's website and sign up to get their emails. Uh, they give you something like a 10 or 15 percent discount um, and they're going to let you know when sales come. They have a big, I think a big winter sale that's in progress right now. So sign up for that kind of stuff so it can get you some added uh, discounts from them. But I've been really happy with them, happy with the shoe, happy with the brand uh, and Thought I would review it for you guys. There you go. That's the Alpine sneaker.